Everyone is invited to join First Lady Wooden and the Women's Department this evening at 6 p.m. for a fourth Sunday Night Fire. Get ready for high praise and worship from the Women's Praise and Worship Team, along with powerful words from anointed women of God. The speakers include Mother Alexis Hinton, Missionary Moselle Hicks, Missionary Latanya Evans, and Evangelist Diane Taylor. Pastor John Lyon and Evangelist Desiree Lyon will host the Greater Triangle District Consecration Union to be held Monday, August 26th, and Tuesday, August 27th, both nights at 7.30 p.m. at the House of Prayer, Church of God in Christ. The church is located at 2081 Old Durham Road in Roxborough, and the theme is We Are Ambassadors for Jesus Christ from 2 Corinthians 5 and 20. In this year of seeking the Lord, all men are asked to join Elder Anthony Wilson and the Men's Department for our monthly prayer conference call to be held Tuesday, August 27th at 6 a.m. To participate, dial 605-313-5563 and when prompted, enter access code 447-448. It will not be necessary to announce yourself upon entering the call and please be sure to mute your phone. Bishop Wooden will speak for Bishop Nathaniel Wells at the 23rd Holy Convocation of Illinois Third Ecclesiastical Jurisdiction on Tuesday, August 27th at 7.30 p.m. The service will be held at Holy Temple Cathedral Church of God in Christ, located at 15912 South Lincoln Avenue in Harvey, Illinois. Bishop Wooden will also be the guest speaker for Bishop Linwood Nesbitt for his 30th pastoral anniversary to be held Friday, August 30th at 7.30 p.m at New Covenant Holiness Church. The church is located at 1020 Dawson Street in Wilmington. To reserve a seat on the bus, please send an email to Maryland underscore 518 at yahoo.com. Calling all married couples, please join us for the marriage enrichment session to be held Friday, September 6th at 6.30 p.m. in the Fellowship Hall. Prepare for a relaxing evening discussing awesome topics to strengthen and build relationships. Refreshments will be provided along with child care services. This is a free event and registration is required for food accommodations and child care. So stop by the tables after service to sign up. The fall semester of NC Third Kojic Academy will commence Saturday, September 7th and registration is now through September 6th. All classes for the two-year program will be held here at the jurisdictional headquarters, the Upper Room Church of God in Christ. Additionally, apologetics will be offered as the fall elective. Online registration has begun and tuition is $200 per semester for the two-year program and $100 for each elective course. To register, send an email to infotech at nc3rdkojicacademy.com. Sister Sean Winters, um, I went out to, uh, she, she asked me to come out and um, be a happy warrior. I mean, just to come out to the clinic. So I went out to the clinic, and while I was out there praying uh, for the young ladies, the Lord showed me as the women, it's like he gave me a vision. The Lord showed me as the women were going in the clinic, I could see toddlers walking in the clinic behind the, um, the ladies as they would go in. I could see like, look, you know how little kids go uh, climb up steps? They were walking in the clinic behind the, um, behind the ladies. And that just struck my that just struck my heart. And ever since then, I've been a happy warrior. My name is Barbara Harris, and I've been a member of Upper Room for over 30 years. If I had one word to describe Bishop Wooden, it would be bold, bold in the things of God. After Pastor Turner passed away, I remained at Upper Room because I heard Pastor Wooden preach, and he preached just like Elder Turner. He preached just like with the same fire, with the same Holy Ghost boldness. What has kept me here all these years is that Pastor Wooden preaches the Word of God and he doesn't get caught up in fads and trends that are going on. He just stick to God first. He stick to Holy Ghost teaching and I appreciate that. And I've grown so much down through the years through his teaching and preaching. God is with him and we, the members of Upper Room, are with him. We believe in what he's doing. He's, he's steadfast, you know, and he um, puts God first in everything that he does, and everything is checked by, this, by the Word of God, and that's why he's been here, and that's, why, and that's why we're with him. I would tell Bishop Wooden that he is very instrumental in my life as shaping my biblical worldview that through everyday life, 
I can think of a word that he's preached or, or a lesson that he's taught on Thursday nights and it just helps me through the good, you know, good times, bad times, no matter what happens. And he's just been instrumental. I may not say a lot, but I just want you to know that I really appreciate all that he's done for me and he has really blessed me. Prepare your hearts and minds for a day filled with love, adoration, and pageantry, along with a must-see live musical, He Carried His Briefcase, written and produced by Clarence Rocky Rayford, as we celebrate the 32nd pastoral anniversary of Bishop Patrick L. Wooden Sr., God's faithful watchman, Sunday, September 15th at the Upper Room, Church of God in Christ.